there, welcome to The Hub. I'm Elizabeth Packard, your Secretary General in Student Government, and this is your weekly update. We begin our coverage with some campus-wide announcements. The 2015 blood battle for Lifeline Blood Services will take place on Tuesday, September 15th and Wednesday, September 16th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the University Center. During last year's blood battle, UT Martin donated 344 units of blood. Let's set a new record this year. This year's homecoming 2015 theme will be Captain's birthday celebration. He turns 20, I'm hoping for some cake. This will take place October 5th through October 10th. Homecoming packets have been released on OrgSync with all the forms and information for student organizations wishing to participate in homecoming this year. Here are some important dates to remember. Organizations participating in the banner competition can pick up their banners on Monday, September 14th from the alumni office. These must be returned by Thursday, October 1st to the alumni office to compete during homecoming. Homecoming Queen nomination forms are due Friday, September 18th by 5 p.m. To access the form, go to utm.edu slash staff slash election. Rope pole, pyramid, and quad city forms must be turned in to the alumni office by Monday, September 21st to participate in homecoming events. Last but not least, the registration for the homecoming can sculpture contest sponsored by Rotaract and the Sociology Club, is now open. The contest will take place during Quad City on Saturday, October 10th. Applications can be found online on OrgSync or on the Hub website at thehub.orgsync.com under Resources and Forms. The deadline to register is Monday, October 5th at 11.59 p.m. Organizers hope to collect 15,000 cans this year, and all proceeds will benefit We Care Ministries, Santa's Helpers, and the Carl Perkins Center. Be on the lookout for more homecoming news. Student Health and Counseling Services is pleased to welcome Katie Kessner to campus. Katie will present her personal story about sexual assault, respect, consent, and healthy decision making. Her story will make you cry, laugh, and consider how quickly one decision can change your life forever. Join us in Watkins Auditorium on September 21st at 4 p.m. to hear her dynamic presentation. Enjoy an evening of music, spoken word, and poetry at the first open mic night of the fall term on Thursday, September 17th from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the Palmic Library. For more information on how you can participate in this event, contact Jim Nance at 881-3093 or jimnance at utm.edu. In student life news, the first senior preview day student organization fair of the semester takes place on Saturday, September 26th from 12.30 p.m. to 1.50 p.m. at the football stadium right before our UT Martin home football game. Registration for this event is open to the first 40 student organizations who register. The online registration form can be found on OrgSync under Forms in each organization's portal. Please note that this is the last Gold Star event before RSO Travel Fund applications are due. All RSOs and Greek organizations are invited to attend. The Office of Student Organizations is now accepting applications for the RSO Advisory Board. The RSO Advisory Board is a board of students that advise the coordinator for student organizations and serve as peer leaders for registered student organizations. Representatives from all RSO categories are needed. These categories are academic, club sport, honor society, multicultural, professional and service Greek, 
recreation, religious, service, and special interests. Applications are due Friday, September 25th at 11.59 p.m. and are posted in OrgSync under Forms in each organization's portal and under Resources and Forms on the Hub website at thehub.orgsync.com. In residence life news, resident hall tutoring began Monday, August 31st in both Browning and Ellington Halls. Chemistry 121 and 122, Biology 130 and 140, Math 100, 110, and 140, as well as Math 210 tutoring is offered to any student living on or off campus Monday through Thursday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Specific tutoring subjects and locations can be found at utm.edu slash departments slash success slash tutoring. Midterms are a little less than a month away, so get your studying on. In campus recreation news, the intramural golf two-player scramble begins Monday, September 14th. The captain's meeting will take place that same Monday, the 14th, at 2.30 p.m. in the Campus Recreation Center. This is an open league and the cost is $30 per team. In athletics, UTM Equestrian faces off against Auburn here at home on Friday, September 18th. Students get into all sporting events free with their student IDs, so please go out and support your Skyhawks. Visit utmsports.com for more Skyhawk athletic news. In entertainment, SAC presents Water Balloon Fight on Tuesday, September 15th at 4 p.m. in the quad. Come relax and cool off with some balloon fighting fun. On Wednesday, September 16th, SAC will be in the UC from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. with the tie-dye your own shirt nooner. You supply the shirt, they supply the fun with a variety of dyes to recycle your shirt to a colorful masterpiece. Also on Wednesday, September 16th, SAC Game Room Committee presents a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Tournament. Come compete for free prizes with other Call of Duty fans. The first 909 entertainment event of the semester happens Thursday, September 17th at, of course, 9.09 p.m. in Watkins Auditorium. Come see the comedic genius of Chloe Hillard right after you finish studying at Tutoring with Housing. You won't want to miss it. The last SAC event this week is presented by the Film and Video Committee. On Sunday, September 20th, The Wedding Ringer will be playing in Watkins Auditorium at 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Come get some popcorn and end the weekend right. Have your student activities news appear in this video by submitting your content and e-poster to Katie Smith. And remember, you keep it snappy, Skyhawks.